So for the competitions, we have two different things, no? One is a stage and one is salon or pista now. So for both of us, we try to work a lot in the mind of the students because uh, maybe they are very talented uh, or not, doesn't matter. But the most important is how they, they can feel in the moment of the competition. If they have confidence to, to do the steps they know or to dance how they know and be able to show what they really are. That's our goal when we prepare people, to get the people better, but also to get the people ready for show what they really are. The process of uh, the competition is, is difficult to measure the time. It's very important that we start to work like a team with a couple, four of us, and, and this process, it will, it will take the time it should need. That it depends with every couple, it's depends, not always... Yes, depends on every couple, depends the kind of goals they have. If they want to be the champion, if they want to arrive to the final, if they want to arrive to the semi-final, depends the level, depends the process. But it's important to start to work and to start to, to understand that when we go for a competition, it's not the same like dancing the milonga. There is a little things that make a big difference. But the good thing is that you can see the result because maybe you can compare your last competition with the next competition and the first one it was not with someone like uh, that was supporting you as a coach and the next one is and then maybe you were, you were not in the semi-final and after with the coaching and with you practicing more also because it depends about the student then they can arrive for a better position. Something that is real is that when when <coughs> When a couple is dancing together for a long time, you can really see the difference with maybe people that get together only for the competition. The couple needs a time also to adjust their bodies, to adjust their, their connection and, and to be able to dance as a couple and not as two persons that they get together and, and they are two different artists. The, the, the important thing is to become like one artist and this requires a lot of time. I don't think it's a good idea to, to make the, the student dance as this judge will like. Uh, I think the, the, the good way is to keep the student uh, dancing like they dance, not even like we dance. No. We always try to keep uh, the, personality. the personality they have, how they, how they dance. Of course, trying to work it, so to make it better and, and to show it better but never trying to, to change because there's a judge that dances a different style. This is up to the judges. Actually, I think it's on the judge to, to, to understand, okay, this person is dancing a different style that I'm dancing. Mm, but he's doing very well. Uh, but he's doing it very well, so okay. The students should, should dance as they want, yes. as they feel. And as much better they can as be. As they are. We, we spend the whole year traveling around the world. And normally we do base in Spain sometimes, and we do base also in London. If they, we have students there that they want to compete, they, we can meet them two, three, four times per year and have a, a nice time together more than, for example, three, four weeks or sometimes two months, and we have a, a very nice process of work. But not everyone can be able to, to live there in Spain and in London. So, or to travel. Or to travel all the time. So, especially when we visit the city for a festival or for a weekend, there we meet the students and then we can work and we can have a very clear goals that we, can, we need to try to get better. And then until the next time we can meet them again, maybe in two, three months, they can visit us in another city because first we went to the city of them, then they can travel, for example, to London and it's quite easy to travel or to the Netherlands or to Spain, whatever. 
and then we can keep on working like this. And in the between time, they can send us the videos and we can give feedback. The video is very helpful, it helps a lot, especially for the technical part. If we want to solve the, something about technique, and if the video is quite a good video, we can see if they are doing good or not in the technique part. Yeah, sometimes the videos actually they are like from rehearsal, but also sometimes when they actually do the choreo in, in some performance, uh, they, they do the video and they send us the video and if there's something to change, because in the performance most of the times some little things change. Yeah, the so energy. the energy is, is changing, the couple change, and then the choreo it looks different. So it's also good uh, when they send us uh, videos of, of actually when they are doing the choreography in a show. Or, or with the dress, yes. on the suit, it's like some little things change in your attitude. Sometimes for better, sometimes not so good. <laughs> so when we are coaching someone, we we, we try to, to follow them in all the ways, in all the, the different ways that have the competition, to be relaxed in the mind, to, to try to advise them how to dress, depends the style they does, the, uh, which kind of shoes or the, the, the hair, how they need to do, whatever, everything. We try to, to, to accompany them, as much we can in all the sense. Hello people, thank you for watching our videos. If you want to see more videos from us, please make click there, yeah? And don't forget to like the video and to subscribe in the Zero 30 Tango channel YouTube. To see more videos. Yeah, thank Great you videos. Very much.